with that with, with that being said and, and the OG cut coming back, dude, I I feel in my heart of hearts that that is going to set up the airship. What you think? Do you think they're do you think Jordan Brand setting up the airship because they're bringing back the OG cut? Hey Ray, what's up? It's Marvin. Marvin, what's going on, man? <laughs> We're back here again on the phone after what a month uh, discussing your recreation of the airship. Was it that long? Yeah, I think How about I, I think about four weeks ago you sent me V one and um, okay. So yeah, I'm I'm just I'm just recording right now. I did my first version of the video going over three different versions of what you've done here and i'll go okay. ahead and i'll go ahead and say it like you're the you're the first person to actual to to really just give us a physical product of the airship so kudos to you bro man no problem man appreciate the love and everything man. yeah so uh i guess first things first so you sent me two other ones uh yeah so you, you don't have to come back with a better version i told you it gets better so that's a better version right there. So okay, so I have the one with the uh, with the new buck tongue on it. So you want to discuss like uh, this one? Okay, okay, that's the um, the band band nineteen. So you know that came about. That's because of you. You posted the on your story the the screen cap from the video game from um, Kooji Creator. Uh, AKA, I think his name is Laurie Frederic. <laughs> so, uh, he posted that. I mean, you posted that and I saw it. So, as soon as I saw it, I felt like that's what the, that's what the, the Air Jordan 1 bread was supposed to look like. Like, if it came based off of the, if it was supposed to be based off the airship or whatever, the, the shoe following that, I felt like the color blocking. It would have been dope if it was like I was thinking like in a parallel universe, this is how it would have happened, you know. And that's that's kind of as soon as I saw it, that's what I thought. So I kind of made that into the um, into the Dan version instead of the the 2011. I felt like that would be a better a better um, better version of the Dan sneaker, you know, based more so off the airship. That's why I put the um, like the 3M on the side. And um, the color blocking was airship, of course. And um, wait a minute, you said yeah, three. Like, you said three M. Yeah, three M underneath. And and I did the toe box pattern the same as the um, the airship with the three M. And yeah, that's how that one came about. And with that one, I was pretty much just. Gonna, I told you I was gonna do a raffle for that. Okay. So I probably I probably end up um everybody who buys a pair of the airships i'm just gonna throw them in the raffle to get a pair of those and people who just want those they can just go buy them okay so you know? i didn't i didn't discuss uh well i i loosely discussed uh the airship um going up on sale on your site so you want to go ahead and talk about uh how that's all gonna go about i i didn't i didn't discuss about the raffle um how they can order um uh, you don't have to, you know, go into detail like how much it's gonna cost. I want people to go to your site and actually like, um, you know, consider it, and then talk about like uh, your planned raffle here. Like, okay, so how do how do we how do we begin? Like, what's the process of getting an airship for ourselves? Okay, so I had it on my site for a little bit, and then um, I took it down, but I put it back up. So by the time people they hear this or see this. It'll be on the site, and they could just, you know, select the size and, and purchase. And so what I'm going to do is, you know, it'll be like a picture of the, the ship you see, but of course, you, people will be able to tweak it. I mean, they may not want the, the X on the back, or they may want a black sole, or they may want, like, dirty bread or whatever. So, you know, you could just purchase and then, you know, specify what you want changed or whatever, you know, say, oh, I needed a, a half inch short, you know, people can be real specific about, you know, what they like. So I give people a chance to, you know, play around with it a little bit if they want to. And then, you know, after they, they do that, I'll just write down all the names and then one day I'll just do a raffle and, you know, you get a, you get the, the band 19 Jordan, Jordan one in your size. 
Wow, okay. Three ninety nine. <laughs> That's so dope, dude. Um Yeah, so I I did in my last video compare the twenty eleven to this version two that I have in my hand with the leather laces. So okay. uh, I, I was telling people on on video is that what they got in 2011 with the nice leather and everything is is great and all but in your version you're getting 10 times the quality 10 times the premium materials with the lambskin uh interior the the new buck on the on the tongue um just the leather overall it, it, yeah that's i mean they can't that's kind of like they can't really compete with me on quality that's like you can't they can't really match that so no i don't care what jordan you put out there it's like that tongue alone is you know worth more than the you know the product cost of, a, of an actual jordan so it's just incomparable right there so yeah you're gonna get the whole you know and that's for, and when i do pump these out to the people those materials are probably even going to be upgraded even further than that that's kind of like just what i had laying around i didn't go special special i didn't do any special shopping for the project or anything like that i just kind of slapped those together you know as soon as i've seen it you know i already had a red soul here i, I had a couple of red souls here that i planned for other projects down the line so i just decided to you know push those back in yeah get them to the get them to the airships because i know that's what people really want to see so yeah and i i'm glad you touched on like the the slight customization that people can can put when they put it put in their order um because you know a lot of people when i sh when i showed the version one that you sent me uh they said well why is it got it's too high you know <laughs> that's the main thing i heard it's too high it's too high yeah, of course it was high it was high as shit i saw the it's funny because when i sent it to you i forgot that i had i had took an on foot shot like that night before or a couple nights before but i was drunk so i didn't remember <laughs> so how when i went in my phone i looked at the scene and i was like man those are like super high so i already had plans to change it to lower anyway i just let the people you know you know talk about it i didn't really care because i knew it was going to be lower yeah but yeah they could, they, could, they could tweak it they could tweak it or whatever yeah for sure uh, but when when i held v2 in my hand with the leather laces uh i i was telling them on video is that um it looks like well, what you said uh right here on the phone is that this is what would have been the imagined Air Jordan 1 had um, they stuck with the airship, I guess, process. But I right. I, I said that um, it, it's kind of like a fusion between the two. So it kind of makes sense, uh, you know, that this is like the airship Air Jordan slash Air Jordan 1 fusion. But um, like what I was going over is that I, I liked how you... Um, even though I love the fat swoosh on, on, on the version two that you, the first version that you sent me on, on version two here, I like that it is the, the regular, uh, Nike check on the side. And then, um, it, it's got like the air Jordan one, um, inspiration on the toe with, with that vamp not being like the actual airship. So if you guys are, are, are clamoring over the, uh, the air Jordan one and you like this version, this is definitely the, uh, the one to uh enter and get the raffle for so is it whenever they put in an airship this is the uh the raffled off version like will this also be on sale um as well like if, if they want this exact one or they can tweak this right one? right that, that's gonna be on the site too the, the, the jordan one i'm gonna put that on sale too okay but this project was more so about the airship so the people that buy the jordan one i just kind of did that you know because everybody's they, they love jordan ones and it was kind of like, all right, if you like Jordan ones a lot, like most people do here, 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 it goes a little bone right here, you know, airship related to tie into the whole, you know, the airship story. So they can purchase those separate, but they won't get a, like a, a raffle ticket for anything else. that will be just a straight purchase for those, but oh. they will be available in limited quantity on site too. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Version three got in my hand. This is a, uh. Uh, a, a remake of the version one that you sent me it's shorter uh you okay. know a lot of people were saying hey yo uh, they, they look like wrestling shoes they look like you win the <laughs> wwe championship in them but i told you i said the same thing so. <laughs> but look guys you know i i'm showing it on camera here is uh you know you got the lower cut of the uh of the airship here 
uh, in my hand in, in comparison to version one. The swoosh is different. He also uh, uh, he also showed the holes, and in version two I didn't show that as well. He put in the extra holes um, on the medial and lateral side, so you got like uh, two uh, leather. I mean, uh, two uh, air vents supposedly. Uh, I guess it's the design of the original airship. And then you got the you got the thread line going through the swoosh, as well. Correct. So yeah, talk about this one. So yeah, that one was just um, yeah. I just went through like I told you I was gonna make like a few tweaks, minor tweaks and stuff. So that's pretty much all I did. I went in, um, I kind of slid the whole front forward, maybe about a quarter inch or something like that. I lowered the height. Um. I forgot about how much, maybe about an inch or something like that. Um, I added, I added the the ventilation holes. Mm -hmm. They they're the more functional on the, on the original airship. I put three M behind them, so they're not really that functional, but they look kind of dope. And um, what else did I do? I, the tongue was a, the tongue was actually I just took the tongue off of the the first version that I, I ripped apart. Because those tongues take a little minute to construct, so I would probably go black tongue with the the black with the black lining on the back side of the tongue versus the red. I think it was too much red. That's why I changed it. Yeah. On the the version you have, but I just saved myself some trouble and I just it was like the all I had to do was lower it like a quarter inch, so I just cut it off and put it on a new one to save myself some some hours. Yeah, that so was, was kind of hurt. Yeah, that was one too. the The first version he sent me had a really, really tall tongue, uh, taller right. than the collar uh, of the back side of the, the sneaker. And then uh, the version three that I have, you got the you got the lower tongue. It looks like it sits properly, and it's um, it's uh, you know more uh, more subtle with the rest of the sneaker in the back half of the shoe. And then you got the red backing on this version three. Um, now explain why. You didn't throw Nike Air on the tongue. Uh, you just left it as Nike. Well, the reason behind that is because uh, I embroider it. So the like the file, when I make it the digital, the file, like, I can only go so small without it looking looking crazy. Right. Uh, I started to, I was going to paint it. That's what I was originally going to do. I was going to put the, the Nike Air, but I decided... Um, like I said, not to make the tongue go through making a whole new tongue and just cut it off. So that's just the tongue from the first version. But I would probably paint it on there the the Nike Air because I can do that any size to get the um the the real OG real OG effect. I probably paint it on the white ones though. Okay. But, yeah, man. Like I, mean... I said, people could they could they could change it, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, but as far as your vision and what you see, like if they didn't want to do any exchanges, this last version of the airship with, with, with the lower height of the collar, is this the version that you see given to the people once they order? Yeah, that, it will be pretty close to that. Like I was still going in and I keep tweaking until I think it's perfect. It's like little stuff I would probably go in and change. I would have to have the shoe in hand and then... I would take like final notes again and then go at it again because you know it's always little stuff you see like all right raise that a couple degrees here or something like that slide that forward so I would have to have like the shoe back in hand again and then I would go over it again but the the final version will it will be those dimensions I would say maybe maybe even a quarter inch quarter inch lower maybe even so but yeah pretty pretty close to that though I would probably leave it. yeah i mean when i when i when you sent me version one i was already like damn this is dope and then i get these other two ones and i'm like okay <laughs> the version three one looks looks just like if if jordan brand were to release it yo so on a tangent here so you you heard about the bread Jordan ones, Black Friday. If, right. They're gonna be releasing in OG form, OG cut. Uh, I was saying. I, then I heard. They, then I heard they weren't. Then like the next day, I heard that yeah. that was canceled. Yeah. So that, I don't know. Well, you probably know where that dude. 
I heard that they were going to put React cushioning inside the, the OG one, but I always said that if you're going to showcase Jordan brand or Nike's newest tech foam technology uh, into a shoe, you might as well do it in a flagship model like the Air Jordan 34. And I, I didn't understand why they would put it in a retro model, but I guess thinking how iconic the Air Jordan 1 is, you might as well do it, but I just didn't think it would be a, a great showcase. If you're going to go ahead and, and update the insides, like the air or the or the cushioning or the foam or whatever, um, then you're thinking about Jordan Pro Cho, where you're updating the inside um, specs right. but still keeping the integrity of the outside um, as classic as can be, it, you know, hence with what Kobe has done with his line. I don't know. I don't, I don't see how you could put three egg. It's a, it's, it's Nike Air. It's Jordan Air. I don't. I think it's the carrier, and then within is the is the Air unit itself. So, how they're gonna play so on that, I'm not sure. Would it be both? So it's both then. Yeah, I, I mean, what's an Air Jordan if it doesn't have Air, right? Right, right. That's what I'm saying. If it's if it's both then, I think it's I think it might be dope if it's super comfortable. Then. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. But unless you get like. As long as they don't show it on the outside, in no way, shape, or form. It would look weird, dude, because, uh, the, you know, it's the rubber cup sole on the classic Air Jordan 1. Like, why would you why would you tweak with that? It's 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 great right. the way it was designed. So I don't know. I think if... I, I guess you could. If you replaced, like, the... um On the, the inside, like, when you rip it when you rip it apart, all that foam stuff in there that surrounds the... Surrounds the, um, the air bubble... I mm. think if you if you made that out of the react, it might be, you know, you can, it'll work, without and you can still use the rubber out. So, well, that's probably another idea you would probably have on on the back burner, you know, given by the people here. So, if you decide to recreate it, that's, that's all you. <laughs> Man, I, I I I actually probably could. I could get a Nike react and sculpt the, shave the sole down and, you know some kind of cut out and put the replace it with the airbag or something like yeah. that put a cover I mean it's possible yeah so that's the rumor know. that's but, interesting though but uh I mean with that with, with that being said and, and the OG cut coming back dude I I feel in my heart of hearts that that is gonna set up the airship what you think do you think they're do you think Jordan Brand's setting up the airship because they're bringing back OG cut yeah it's got I, mean, it, right? I think that that would be a it would be a logical step because you kind of gotta you gotta ease them into it, and what better way to ease them into like a a, a, a super retro like that? What better way than the, what, what the what the bread won? Right. I mean, who you can't disrespect the eighty five bread one like you just can't. So. If you give them that first, and then okay, you, you get people back into the, you know, you get them into the into the vibe, the 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 super OG vibe. Even like young kids that you know don't really, probably don't really know about it. I think once they're flooded with it, I think they would, you know, it would kind of change the change the the vibe of the people, and then it would be more accepting of something like super old like that. Yeah, I mean. Like I said, in my heart of hearts, I think it, it sets up the airship to see like if OG Cut does do it because uh, right. a lot of OGs in the game have been clamoring for, for the OG Cut, you know, with the straight back and, and how the, the pieces all, you know, go together and everything. But yeah. on, on the flip side, like, and I brought this on camera as well, is that it's going to be really interesting to see like how people receive an og cut because it's never really been or it hasn't really been done so uh, a lot of people have gotten the um the different versions with like the the heel not being as as straight it's kind of cut it's kind of got this curve to the to the achilles it it fits a little bit like more comfortable on on the on foot whereas if i'm wearing an og and you know i mean it I'm pretty sure the air unit in, in itself is all shot and everything, but I can't really wear OG ones for long uh, because of like how um, not bulky it is, but it's just the, I guess the cut of the shoe. Uh, sure. but, whereas I can wear like a, like a one uh, substantially longer than an OG. I mean, 
I don't know if you've had like that experience, but that's just my experience. So I think I think they probably um I mean that's Nike, so I think they could they can make it look OG from the outside and then re engineer the inside to you know, swap it out with like a, a, a like a new new interior pretty much and it feel like it wouldn't feel like a like a, like the the OG or anything like that. It felt more comfortable. Yeah. But we'll see, man. I think it'll work. I, you know what? That's like the first shoe I seen. I was reading the comments, and I, I only saw like maybe maybe two bad comments. It was on the, one of the major pages about the OG cut. So I think it's already well received. And if anything, they might have just leaked that out there just to see if it'll work. Like, hey, somebody put a you know say it's coming. And people will do the renderings or whatever, and we'll see if it'll work. And, you know, people went crazy. So. It's kind of like even if it was if if it wasn't a thing, now that you see how people are responding to it, you gotta make it a thing if it wasn't. So yeah, I mean you're gonna feed it out there, and, and uh, leakers are gonna be able to tell the people that hey yo, uh, what do you think about this? The Jordan brand's thinking about bringing back OG cut. Um, right. I mean specific to the one. So uh, I mean if it's successful, why not bring it to the other models like the threes, the fours? Like I, right. I always thought the collars on the Air Jordan threes were weird. Ever, you know, after the ninety four, uh, ninety four retros, uh, Man, the collars. Man, OG three, I'd be in there. Yeah. Man. That'd be that'd be crazy, you know. Yeah, that'd be dope. So. I think you know they gotta they have they gotta test the waters with that stuff because you know it's corporate. You gotta do market analysis and all that. They sold however many millions of Jordan ones with that specific pattern, pretty much in that cut. So. You kind of got you got to justify like a big leap like that. Um, yeah, man. So what what was your takeaway from um, I guess the responses from the first videos that we, that that I did and uh, you know the uh, the social media comments coming through on both our channels? Like, uh, what was your what was your takeaway from all that? I mean, all of the response was dope, but I didn't think it was going to be that much. Like, to be honest, I was just, like, sending you the shoes. <laughs> I guess I didn't really, I didn't do my, my 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 proper research on you properly. Like, who first kind of sent me sent me your page, and I just kind of followed, but I didn't go down a rabbit hole. I didn't know you do, like, crazy videos and you making movies out here and all of that. So nah, I not was kind of like, hey, let me just show them the shoes, and then, you know, I thought I was going to send them to you. You know, you look at them like, oh, yeah, that's dope. You know, you show up to a couple of your buddies and send them back. So it was crazy. Then, you know, we got the nice kicks feature and all that. That was, that was ill. Yeah. But, yeah, it was dope. Like I said, it was, a, I told you before, it was like a halfway joy because I knew that I was going to make the shoot better. And so, you know, everybody was talking about it was too high and all of that type of stuff. Like, I knew it. Oh, it's fucking trash and all that. I didn't really care, like, all the comments. I kind of read them at first, like, the first day we posted. But after that, I just kind of I just kind of stopped because I was like, I already got, like, the pattern for the better shoe right here. It's going to have a red sole and everything. So I was like, y'all are y'all going to eventually like it. Yeah. So I didn't really, I didn't really put too much into it. I had a bunch of stuff I was working on, so I just kind of went back to work and, yeah, I, I think when, when people order off you and, and they see the quality in hand, just like I, I've seen it firsthand, like I'm not really uh, being a shill here. Like I, I honestly think your work is, is excellent. And to be able to see this, like the many versions in hand, um, even after the first one, I'm like blown away every time because it's like 10 times better than what I feel Jordan Brand can recreate. Like I'm, I'm holding the 2016 in my hand and I'm like, dude, this is not even as close to what Ray's doing here with his stuff. So, uh, I mean, it, if you put your shoe in the wild, like say Nike approached you and was just like, yo, we, we want to we wanna get your input and uh, what you think, like what materials and whatever, like I, I don't think like the quality of what you would bring would even come close to what they would want to put out in the general market. You know what I mean? Man, like, I wish they would let me um, be a uh, director of quality control or something. <laughs> Man, it would be dope. I, w- I would like to work on something like that. That would be dope. But I know how that stuff works. I don't think they can take my honesty with them. 
Yeah, I mean, we all we all have our opinions, and you know, it. I feel like with all those opinions, and people always see it as hate, you know. But I always see it as we all love this stuff, and we always want people that do great stuff, you know, as far as like storytelling and recreating our classics and nostalgia and everything. That we want them to do better. So whether whether it's like seen as bashing or whatever, it really isn't because. I'm pretty sure, like, the 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 designers out there that are out there, or product line managers or whatever, they want to recreate something as dope as what like we all want to see. But right, we don't we don't we don't know the inner workings of like how that stuff works. They yeah. got reasons for why they don't do it or why they can't do it. Like, it's a numbers game too. Like, yep. Like people gotta understand, you can't. I don't even know if it'd be possible to go get. They want to make three million pairs of breads with the best leather on the planet. Like I don't even know what it what it would take to like source that much fabric like that, like real materials. So you know, it's just a lot of stuff we don't know about how that stuff works. I mean, unless you're going back to like limiting sneakers, but uh, on the flip side, people are going to be mad that you're limiting stuff right. because these are right. classics, like man. A, right. It's like a, I, if it's probably like a lose lose. I don't think people are ever going to be happy if it's too many of them. They're going to say, oh, I don't want them now because it's flooded and then it's too limited. It's like, it's never, it's a never ending. It, and, yeah. It's never pleasing it, at the end of the day, so. Yeah, it, it's I, funny how that all works too because then you have the reseller side being mad and then you right. have like the general public being mad because not enough is being produced and so. Right. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're going to upset like someone. people to try to make happy. Yeah, you can't. You can't do that. So uh, I, I think to the best of their ability, they're trying. Um, we'll see what what happens if they if the rumors are true about the the OG high cut. Um, I think the quality was, is going to be amazing on them if they if they do bring it back. Yeah, I man. mean, it's it's no way it couldn't be amazing. You we'll, know. we'll see, man. But uh, I've been seeing some like the um. The UNCs that I've seen, that quality looks crazy. The leather, leather on those. So I've been seeing some stuff where it's looking like they're bringing out some some real quality. They bringing it back. So and I think for eighty five, they would definitely pull out all the stops for something like that. All right. Well, yo, man, I didn't want to take up too much of your time. I know we're getting up to thirty minutes, and my camera usually shuts off at thirty minutes. But um, is there any last words you want to? you want to put in before i like end the video and um like you know uh, people like you want to go I, over i ain't fully up yet my brain <laughs> really it's noon at, it, aren't, you're in milwaukee so it's noon over there yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's 11 here I'm, I'm kind of a night out though so i usually start okay. about like six in the morning my bad <laughs> so, <laughs> no, that's all good. so no i don't know so um yeah people like them you know go to the site check them out you know, or you want to tweak something or whatever. Well, um, well when's the release date? So, uh, when do you when are you gonna put up the shoes for sale? Uh, when are you gonna start to work? How long will it take to create them? All that. Okay, so I'm gonna put the I'll, I'll put the shoes up right now. So I, I was gonna stagger the release. I was gonna do the black because I still wanted to get the I still need to get the I want to get the final shots done of the set. Like I told you, I had a photographer down in Chicago. I wanna I wanna get some dope you know, some dope material to shoot. I don't, I don't want to just, like, make it and put it out there. But I don't want to get swamped either, so I'm going to put the blacks up, the blacks in the Air Jordan 1, and people can purchase those. And then I say, give me up to, like, 16 weeks, but I'll start cranking them out. I got uh, maybe, like, four projects I'm working on I got to finish up. And then after that, I'll start cranking those out in the order, like, you know, in which people placed, and then by the time those are done, the whites will, you have the whites before the blacks, everybody has the blacks, and then the black, the whites will follow right after that, kind of when those start getting out to people, and then I'll put the whites up. All right, and is there a limit to, like, what the order is, like, how many you making all that per size? I'll probably make, um... I'll probably make up to like 15 of them per color. Okay. And uh, any size, any size they, they make, you know, um, any size you can get your, they make Jordans in, you know, Jordan 1 Soul in. So 
17, 18, whatever. If I can get a red soul or whatever, so you want to use, then you can get the shoe. It don't really matter. I forgot where I was at. The, yeah, and then the whites will be coming right after the blacks. And then people will be able to get those. And then they get the Jordan 1. I'll put the Jordan 1 up there now, too. Now, I'm only going to do a couple of those. I'm not going to go crazy with those. Maybe, maybe like three three or four and i'll probably i'll do a raffle for those for each for each color like you know one for the black and then when i release the whites i'll do another raffle for people who purchase the whites to get a so they can also get a chance at the the um the band 19 air jordan one all right you want to shout out your uh your website or i can just put in the description of the video Okay, the website is um, mmplg.net, I do believe, or you can just, I'll just change my, um, I'll change the link in my, in my Instagram, admin and made poppy to, you know, to a direct link to the, to the airships. All right. Well, sounds good. I'll be bringing some more stuff back, I'll do some plans, I'll probably do the the trains, I got, I got some other stuff that I want to retro too, it's probably just be the start. You know, we still got. I still got the the special ones that I told you about that I want to do. Yeah. So. So that's yeah, crazy. bro. It, it it's been an honor to like work with you on here and you know share with the people, uh, what man, your. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate all the love and the videos and everything, man. This is dope. So, um, I think later today I'll I'll go ahead and um and, and share some photos of the of the three versions, and then you also said that you're sending two more. Oh yeah, I gotta do two more. So I got the white ones, and uh, oh, don't tell me what the what the next one is. You know what you want me to tell you? <laughs> Maybe not. We'll, we'll 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 keep me on my toes for that one. I I'll uh okay yeah I'll okay. I'll, I'll do the surprise. I, I, gotta you. <laughs> yeah, I gotta tell you about that one. Yeah. I think you're gonna you're gonna dig that one too though. Okay, and yo, I'll I'll do another video on that, and we'll go ahead and 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 discuss it, but uh. Yep. Yeah, man, we just gonna hammer it home till they retro the, till they retro the airship. Yeah, <laughs> but yo, this is yeah, this has been fun, man. Like, uh, you know, just just right. seeing like a customizer or restorer's work on on what the possibilities could be. Like Jordan Brand, come on. Like, if, if you got someone out there on the outskirts making this stuff, like you have to really consider. And I hope you are considering. You know, with what we've been hearing rumors about. Uh, of what's on the horizon for what the right. brand you know brings out and i just think it's really dope to like see your work out there and you know maybe they're getting inspiration from it i'm pretty sure they get inspiration from all walks of life when it comes to stuff like man, this so yeah man keep man, pushing man i will i will gotta do it for the people man yeah so yo that's minime poppy aka ray anderson on the phone uh thank you so much for for jumping on with me again and thank uh, you bro appreciate it yeah so what we'll go ahead and do is um you know you know follow him on instagram um i'll go ahead and put whatever links in the description of the video i'll also share it on my social media uh this is a sneaker that we all want retroed the nike airship uh again minime poppy has created something uh for all people to like see so um if you guys also want to see him uh or put in your order on his website i'll go ahead and uh you know jump that on the screen as well as well as the yeah, uh they better, they better come quick i had a lot of people there's a lot, a lot of, of people, people hit me up, man people taking out bank loans all kind of stuff yo <laughs> yo so that's crazy man. all right well uh i'll let you go you know get 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 your nap back in and uh <laughs> no I'm up, I'm up man it's time to get to work bro. oh no it's time to get to work all right it's time to get to work so all right brother i appreciate you thank you for tuning in guys it's mjo 23 dan subscribe to the channel if you guys are interested in watching all my content you also follow ray on minute uh on instagram minimate poppy um follow me on instagram minimate uh no i was gonna say minimate poppy me (laughs) mjo 23 dan All right, yeah, yo, the dope collab. <laughs> All right, so. All right, brother, I'll talk to you later. All right, later, man. Take care.